Aziz Amiri is the president and founding member of the Canada-Afghanistan Business Council. He joins us now from Toronto to talk more about this. Hi there. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for inviting me. So what are your thoughts on including the Taliban in some form with the government? Uh, yes, uh, I have uh, mentioned this in the past uh, through my interviews in the CTV and CTTV. Uh, uh, history teaches one thing in Afghanistan, that is we cannot win the war with fighting. Uh, job creation, bringing prosperity to people, creating uh, opportunities for livelihood of the people, that is the key. Approaching to the Taliban with the way that they are suggesting now, I believe is a good system as long as it comes with a comprehensive approach, military, job creation, business development, and as well as the um, uh, uh, capacity building of the civil system in Afghanistan because the government of Afghanistan is not capable as it is right now. What uh, I've got two follow-up questions to that. What makes you think that the Taliban would be willing to come to the table and to add to that how can they be trusted? Actually within the elements of Taliban there are uh, people that have gone and joined Taliban because they do not have any income, any meaningful income from their uh, the opportunities that are exist right in Afghanistan. Mm. So they, those are the people that the government is, is appro approaching or reaching. Those are the people that they do not have any employment, they do not have any mean of gaining an, uh, an employment. So those are the people that they have gone with them because they need, they need money for their livelihood. And those are the people that can be hopefully, or they will, uh, has, as in the past, uh, shown that if we create jobs for them, if we give them land, if we give them opportunities, that they will gain an employment, they will earn for their livelihood, then they will uh, abandon the Taliban. I know that you have said Afghanistan has great potential. What are some of the untapped markets or business opportunities that you see because you do business in both countries? Afghanistan uh, has a great potential as far as reconstruction right now and as far as being a hub, a trade land hub in Central Asia. For, right now for uh, infrastructure, there's, there's tons of roads to be built, there's tons of bridges, hospitals, high schools, universities, all this has to be done, all the infrastructure is needed, so there's a great deal and uh, rebuilding the infrastructure as well as there is a lot of opportunities on mining because there is a lot of uh, mines that have not been explored yet and uh, the location that Afghanistan is so close to emerging markets such as China, India and, and Russia uh, the mining is very very attractive to those countries and as well as uh, bringing agriculture because Afghanistan uh, has very good agricultural products and the, the Middle East and Europe is, is, a, is a very close uh, uh, um, location to them so that they can we can we can cater to this so infrastructure mining and agriculture will be the ideal and, and very attractive business opportunities there. Aziz Amiri thank you very much for your thoughts on this tonight I do appreciate it. Thank you for giving me the chance You're I appreciate welcome. it thank you.